How's it going guys? Andre back here with another video and while I do look pretty spiffy today, there is a reason for that. Today I'm going to be taking my own headshot um, just for like my LinkedIn, my Facebook for kind of like profile pictures and I want to take you guys along, show you guys exactly how I'm doing that so you guys can do it yourself. Now for headshots, these are very important. Um, just a few tips before you guys actually do go ahead into it and I'm going to show you guys the gear that I'm using and everything that's going on. Um, just try and make sure you do look a little bit presentable. Um, that your face, like for guys, uh, you clean up the beard, uh, maybe the eyebrows, do your hair for ladies, uh, subtle makeup, not too extravagant, but not too subtle, right? And just go in it having a good time. That's kind of uh, some of the tips that I have for you guys. And just to keep this video short and quick, I've got my brother actually helping me out. He is manning the camera right now. And let's just go and I'm going to show you guys the gear that we are using. Okay, so this is exactly where we're going to be taking the headshot. Um, right here, we have our backdrop, which is really just um, very do-it-yourself. It's a curtain from uh, Walmart. My brother spotted it, so thank you to him. Uh, about $15. Right here, we've got the stool that I'm going to be sitting on. And excuse the mess, but as we turn around, further back. Okay, right here, we've got the camera that I'm using and I am using a very cheap tripod, very cheap uh, newer fluid head. The camera is a Nikon D3400 paired with a 50 millimeter lens, uh, 1.8 from Nikon. Right here, this is the light setup that I'm using. It is very cheap, um, just simple again, newer from Amazon. Um, don't know the exact price, but I will link it down below for you guys to check it out. And normally, since you're doing your own headshot, like. I've got my brother helping me out, but if you guys don't, then I highly suggest one of these. Uh, shutter remote control so you guys can like sit on the chair like this and take your own headshot. So without further ado, um, my brother and I, we're going to go take the headshot. I'm going to show you guys how it turns out and then maybe we can even edit it and post a little bit and then we'll go from there. So we kind of got the shot that we wanted not perfect but we'll manipulate it a little bit in photoshop um, i think i looked pretty good in those shots so now let's just see how exactly they turned out i'm going to tell you guys the settings that i shot the photo at and then i will show you guys the final result so uh, let's just hop on over back in the office check it out on the computer and go from there okay guys so it is the next day and right now i want to share with you guys um, just some of the tweaks that i actually did to the photo in order for I uh, mean to have my final headshot that actually turned out super incredible really happy with it really stoked but um <clears throat> before i show you guys on the computer kind of uh, what i did more or less um keep in mind that you don't need all of the exact same equipment that i did i had some uh light strobes that i used i had a shutter release if you don't have a shutter release uh, you can use the self timer option on your camera and then you just gotta make it for 10 seconds set up like three shots go back Get those shots taken exactly what you need and if you don't have the specific lighting um this is what i've actually been using to light up uh, my shots before this is a 10 15 dollar clamp light with an led bulb in it and that's what i use for my youtube videos before as well and you can use it for photography right continuous lighting plenty of that 45 degree angle that you need um if it's too harsh either back it up or kind of put like a a bed sheet over top of it or a shower curtain to kind of diffuse that light to make it a little bit softer and let's go over into Lightroom let's check out kind of exactly um, what I did okay so looking right here over into Lightroom this is the original shot that I got um, pretty happy with it straight out of camera you got the nice fall off to the right side of my face so now um, what I did is I actually took it into Photoshop I'm not gonna show you guys the final product not yet um, but yeah, I took it into Photoshop. So then looking here, uh, first off, I cleaned up my face, got rid of some of the acne, uh, some of the straight uh, flyaway hairs. I removed some hairs around my ear over here. Let's get my beautiful face out of your guys' screen. Um, what I also did is I removed some of these uh, wrinkles because I told you guys that it was just a blackout, um, blackout window cover. I did not use a professional background, backdrop background. So yes, I got rid of some of those wrinkles again. Then once I saved that, brought it back over into Lightroom 
and I made my adjustments. I softened my skin. I slightly made uh, increased the exposure on my eyes. Played with some of the color, with some of the contrast. It's really difficult talking to a camera. Like I'm running out of breath. I need to learn to compose myself. So we'll 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 work on that. Public speaking is hard, but so I played with some of the colors. Um, this is one of the edits that I did. This is not the final one in terms of color correction. Um, it's kind of moody, I like it, um, but not quite exactly what I was going after. But if you look in this one, this is not the final one that I posted. But if you look in this one, skin softer, no wrinkles on my, on my face. So the flyaways are cleaned up a little bit here on my ear, right here by my forehead. And if you look here, very, very few wrinkles into the backdrop. So I was able to remove pretty well um, and clean that up so it looks better for you guys. But yeah, this is where I'm actually gonna end the video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you're new, consider subscribing and definitely go over to Instagram at Andre underscore Roman and check out the final shot that uh, I ended up editing. I think it turned out incredible. And if you really wanna know how I edited that one, uh, let me know in the comments below here on the video or over on the Instagram post to show it some love and I can show you guys how, how I edited that. And I hope now you have the toolkit that you need to go out, not out, just in another room and take your own professional headshot. Again, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.